But I never could understand this. And I'm being honest about this. Why is it, why is it that we take for granted that which we love the most? Think about it. So often we take for granted with that which we love the most. So think about what Hannah was going through. She struggled. She believed. She took all those years of ridicule. And then after giving birth, she did what? Gave her child back to God? Oh, no. My ego would have been around there. Hey, look, hey, hey, check it out. Look, hey, hey, look at my son. Hey, hey, hey. Didn't talk about me, didn't you? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, uh-huh. Didn't think I was going to bear children. <laughs> See my child here? Yeah, you know, the ego comes out. Yeah, uh-huh. Y'all talked about me, thought I was going to be bearing all these years. Oh, no, I got something for you. Take a look at my son. That's a son. Ain't no daughter. That's a son. <laughs> what did she do? She gave it to God. Hannah, have you lost your mind? All these years of ridicule, all this pain that you're going through, and you just turn around and give it to God? What kind of love is that? How much love must she have experienced to be able to give her firstborn, her onlyborn, back to God? But then, Mary, oh Lord, please forgive me. Let's just be literal. Let's just really go back and visit Mary. Mary knew that song of Hannah. But just think about this. As she gave this opportunity for Joseph to really figure out, does he really have enough faith? Just think about Mary. And then think about Joseph. Let's do Mary first. She knew that she was able to give birth or going to give birth to the Son of God, God's child. Oh my goodness. Just think about that responsibility. First thing in my mind would have been, oh Lord, I gotta quit eating falafels. Cause you know those falafels are, <laughs> aren't good for you. She had to think about what? The food that she ate. And then she had to think about the thoughts that she would have by bearing a child out of wedlock. Was, wait, 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 hold up, wait a minute. Did you, God, did you get married yet? How did you get, you conceived before this? The ridicule? And here Joseph was, gave her a dowry, and then yet he's going to believe this? Yeah, you pregnant, huh? Writing this from God, uh-huh. I'm looking at all these shepherds walking around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. But then think about it. And then of all these things, eight, nine months pregnant, Joseph sits around here and says, hey, we got to go take a trip. What? Has anybody here been with somebody who's been pregnant? <laughs> and then the eighth and nine months say, hey, we going on a trip? And then turn around and say, but you know, baby, we haven't made any reservations, but we're going to go on this trip anyway because we got to. You know, somebody in this family, I don't know if they're responsible for making reservations every now and then will mess up and somebody will arrive at a place and be like, did you make the reservations? No, baby, I didn't. Did you? No, you didn't either. Okay, well, let's go back. No, it doesn't work that way. So here Mary was, a young, young lady. The, the scholars say somewhere between 12 and 15 and some people say 13, 14. Who cares? Real young, young lady giving birth to this child of God for my husband who has to believe that yes, no man had had a chance to have this opportunity to bear her a child and he has to then take her and publicly ridicule and take her somewhere else and say, yes, this is a gift from God. And he has the audacity in the Jewish faith to give him his name so that his birth will be able to be aligned to fulfill scripture and Mary and Mary sings this wonderful song sings this wonderful song my soul magnifies the Lord my spirit has rejoiced for he has regarded the lowly state of this maidservant. 
For behold, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm, scattered the proud, put down the mighty, filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away. He has helped his servant in remembrance of his mercy. Wow. All about God. All about God. Just imagine it's all about God. The realization that blessed art thou among women. So hear this. To this day, we have eternity because of a mother's love. For don't you imagine, can you actually see Hannah and her love of Samuel? Can you actually see Mary and her love of Jesus? Can you actually see Dale and her love of John and Rodney? Can you actually see Susan and her love of Andrew and Lauren? Can you see the love of mothers? Can you feel the love? Close your eyes, and I want you to feel the love of your mother. Feel your mother's love. Now on this Mother's Day, let me give you my last story. The story that has been told for thousands of years. She gave birth in a manger. She realized she was blessed among women. And that same spirit of Mary is with you. A timeless treasure of love. And for those who cannot and did not give birth, how much you still showed us your love. For I will leave you with this one story the story of my best friend and his mother. Her name was Maggie. She made the best fried pies in the world. There was nobody else in the entire world that could make a fried pie better than Maggie. And those of you who know that I just do not like to eat. So Maggie called me down, and she said, Phil, I made these fried pies just for you. And so you know what I did. I hugged her and thanked her, and back then it was wax paper. Put them in wax paper and was walking down the street with a gate going on. Maggie made me some fried pies. And don't you know that the devil was in the street? Somebody by the name of my best friend, whose mother just gave me those fried pies, called out my name, Phil, and threw me a football. <laughs> I immediately turned around and being the athlete that I was, decided that I could catch this football with these fried pies in my hand. So I turned around, Bobby threw the ball, I did like this, and lo and behold, the athleticism just took over. And it didn't hit my hand, it hit what? The fried pies. I had grease and fried pie juice all over my shirt. Bobby was laughing. I started to cry, I was so mad. I walked down there, and let me tell you about a mother's love. Maggie came out there, grabbed Bobby by his ear, came over to me and said, Phil, I love you. I'm going to make you some more fried pies. And I went around there and said, that's what a mother's love is all about. <laughs> a mother's love is giving. A mother's love is full of sacrifice. A mother's love is timeless. A mother's love is a treasure. And God thanks you 
for being who you are. For be you a biological mother or be you not, we all have the blessedness of sharing a mother's love.